Welcome to DataViz Daily. I'm Kevin McGinley, and picking up where we left off in the last episode, um, I was kind of explaining the new parallel coordinates visualization, which you see here. We have two different versions of that. We're still working with our uh, 2016 uh, election debate data when, and sort of looking at how the different speakers are affiliated as well as uh, different words that they say. And what I thought I would do is sort of expand on this visualization in the right-hand side a little bit further because there's actually another visualization that was introduced in 12.2.2 that perhaps will visualize this uh, data set a tiny bit better than the parallel coordinates. And that's the new Sankey visualization. So if I switch to the Sankey visualization here, um, it'll largely keep the same format. And what you see is that we've now got a sense of the, the lines are a little bit thicker, a little bit easier to read, a little bit easier to see the color density going on, um, and we get a little bit more sort of context and information with this view versus the parallel coordinates. Now I can move you know, some of these objects around a little bit and, and make the visualization look slightly different, but I think the thing worth pointing out here is that our lines are definitely a little bit easier to read uh, because of the color density. Um, and we also get some context here with these bars because they appear to be different sizes for the different speakers as well as the different words that were uttered. Well, hovering over them doesn't give us any sort of number context. It doesn't tell us why the bar is the size that it is. So what, what could be going on there? Well, the easiest way to sort of see this is I'm going to actually copy this visualization and paste it. So we have a duplicate of it filtered exactly the same way. And since I don't really need this uh, parallel coordinates visualization anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete that guy. If my toolbar comes up here, give us a little bit more space to work with. And I'm just gonna switch this one on the right hand side to a uh, table view. And if we change the sort of orientation of this a little bit, um, you know, we can now sort of get a sense for, um, you know, what, what's going on with these numbers. And let's just for some context here, um, add in a uh, total. So, you know, we can see that Clinton spoke 67 times, Pence 48, Kane 37, Trump 105. So do these bars sort of represent those numbers? Well, Trump's bar is actually smaller than Pence, Clinton, and Kane. Um, so that's actually not what's what's going on here, not what the bar represents. But if you look, Trump only actually utters five of the words um, that are on our list on the right-hand side, um, where if we look at Pence, we get six. If we look at Kane, we get seven. Uh, and if we look at Clinton, we get six. So actually what's going on here is these bars represent, if you're kind of looking left to right, um, how many of the things on the right are connected to the things on the left. So in this instance, Kane's bar is the largest because he's connected to all of the words on the right-hand side. Conversely, you can look at this in the other direction as well, and the words tax and taxes have the largest bars of the uh, items here on the right-hand side. Um, so clearly, the all of the speakers, or more of the speakers, are saying the words tax and taxes um, than they are ISIL or uh, Russian or ISIS, for example. So that's the new Sankey visualization in DataViz Desktop 12.2.2. Uh, um, we'll look at some other things that are uh, new in this release of Oracle Data Visualization Desktop in the next episode. Thanks for watching.